So let's talk about how the compass rose works. Every chart has a compass rose. Some of them have more than one, as I said before. So the compass rose has two rings. It has an outer ring. Okay, the outer ring is the true north ring indicated by the star. Then we have an inner ring. The inner ring is a magnetic ring, and it's indicated by the arrow. And the difference between where north is in magnetic and north is in true is called variation. Okay, the variation is listed on every chart. In this case, the variation is listed as 14 degrees west. So that means that the variation is west of true north 14 degrees to the west of north 14 degrees. So your magnetic compass would read approximately 14 degrees west of where true north would be. Now when we plot, when we plot on a chart, we should always plot true courses. And then we adjust that true course accordingly based, on, based upon our compass and our boat and the deviations and the variations. And you can see deviation and variation in another video that we produced if you want to look that up on, on YouTube. So let's start with this. Every plot starts from a known position. So we're going to say that we know we are leaving an area outside of what's called Welch's Point here over by um, Milford, Connecticut. So if we left this, this spot right here, and I'm going to put it circled X here, that's our known position. And we were told to steer a course by the captain. And most cases, we're going to steer a course and aim for something. So let's steer a course, and the captain would say, I want you to steer a course and aim for Branford Reef Light. So the Branford Reef Light is here. Our position is here. I'm going to use the, the Weems Parallel Plotter for this one. And our course, we're going to line up the position we're leaving from to the light, and we're going to draw our straight line to that light. Now to determine what that course is, we simply move our parallel plotter down to the compass rose and go to the center of the compass rose, signified by the X, by the plus sign. And we're going to line that plus sign up with a line on the outer ring. The outer ring is going to show us that that course is 82 degrees true. So we're going to label that 0, 8, two degrees. That's the course that we're going to use. Okay, we used, we drew our line to where we were headed. We drew it down to the compass rows, to the outer ring, to find the true course of 82 degrees. Our boating world, we would then have to convert that course to a magnetic course or a compass course based on a couple factors. Uh, I'll do that for you now just so you can see, but if we knew that our true course was equal to 82 degrees, 0, 082 degrees. We know that the variation for the area, in this case, the variation is on the chart at 14 degrees west. And to determine from true to a, get a compass course, we need to add west, that's the formula that we use. That would give us a magnetic course of 0, 096 degrees magnetic if we wanted to check to see that that's true, if we just merely put the center of the compass and we looked at the magnetic ring, we would find 0, 095, 0, 096, that's magnetic. Now every vessel has a deviation. Some vessels have more than others. Most come with a deviation table. We'll say for the sake of discussion, the vessel that we're on has a deviation for a 96 degree magnetic course of two degrees to the east. When we're going from compass to true, we're going to add west, subtract east. So we're going to take that 2, we're going to minus 2. So 0, 096 minus 2 would give us a compass course of near 0, 094 degrees per compass, per ship's compass to steer. And so we would tell the helmsman, steer a course of 0, 094 per ship's compass. And that course of 0, 094 would be e equal to the 0, 082, and that would bring us to the Brantford Reef Light based on our speed. That's how we use the compass rose. And then we just added converting our true course to our compass course. Mm -hmm.